Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this book cushion. So it's got a lovely little pocket in the front here to keep your book in and we've got an envelope back here and you will have noticed that the fabric is directional so I'm going to show you how to make that making sure that your directional fabric is the right way round on the back as well. So for this project, you're going to need a 16 inch square of fabric. So let me just show you what I've got here already. So I've got a 16 inch square of fabric. Then for my pocket, which is here, you're going to need a piece of fabric which measures eight inches by 16 inches. And I've already hemmed this in preparation for putting it together. So that's going to be our front pocket and that's going to go there. And then for our envelope back, we need two other pieces. So we need a shorter piece, which is eight and a half by 16. And we need another piece, which is 11 and a half by 16. Because with an envelope back, you need a longer piece coming down. So you usually have your longer piece coming down over the top and your shorter piece is what's going up inside there. And you'll see that on this one, I've just added a little detail to that pocket, that flap going over there. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've already hemmed the pocket and I have hemmed my envelope back. And just to make sure I've got it the right way round, I'll show you that the hem is on the bottom bit there and then the hem is on that bit there. And that's how it's going to finish up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to secure this to the front using a scant quarter inch seam just so that I haven't got lots of pieces of fabric flapping about. So I'm just going to very carefully secure this on three sides, down there, along the bottom and up there. But I'm going to keep it a really scant eighth because what I want to do is lose that in the seam when I use my quarter inch seam in a moment. So I'm just going over to the sewing machine. So you can see here that I've just attached this pocket and I've done a really fine seam round here on the front. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two pieces on that are gonna form our envelope back. So I'm going to put those right sides together on here and I am gonna pop a couple of pins in just to hold it all in place. So the bottom one, so again, we're remembering that it's directional. So the shorter piece I'm putting at the bottom of the cushion And then the top piece, so you can see that I've already put little hems on, but we're just going to then put the top piece on, right sides together. And then I'm going to go over to the machine and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way along there and all the way along there. But before I do that, if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You can meet the team. You can see pictures of behind the scenes and we will answer all of your questions in the comments below. So now I've machined the top and bottom and I'm just going to check that it's going the right way. So I'm just going to make sure that they're both in the right position. Now is the time. So when you look at this one, this one now looks like it's upside down. But when you turn him over, it's going to be the right way round. So when you do an envelope back, as I said earlier, if we want this piece on the outside when we finished our cushion, 
we need to make sure that the bigger piece is on the inside when we sew it. So we're going to sew, let's turn it back around the other way. So this is the front of our cushion with our pocket. So we're going to put the bigger piece on the inside at this point, because when we turn it through, we want that on the outside and that's what will happen. So remember, inside when you're sewing and it will be outside when you've finished. So then we put our shorter one up there like that. And I'm just going to pop some pins in to hold this in place down the side. And now I'm going over to the machine and I'm going to sew all the way down there and all the way down there using a quarter inch seam. So when I machined down here, I just did a little backward stitch there just as a bit of extra strength for where the pockets are. And the next thing you do is just very carefully snip your corners across and this helps when you're turning it through. Be careful not to cut your stitches. And then we're going to turn it round the right way, keeping everything crossed. So I've got all my animals in the right direction and I've got my pocket in the right place. Just poke those corners out a little bit. And then what you would do is you'd go over to the iron and you'd give it a really good press. And you can see that we've got our pocket with our bigger piece on the outside. We've got all of our animals in the right direction. And then if we turn it over, we've got our lovely pocket to put our book in, in there. And this would make a really lovely gift because you could gift this to a child and they've not just got the cushion, you could buy them a book to go in it. And this is Moda's range and it's called ABC XYZ. And it comes in lots of different colorways. As you can see, I've done two different ones here and there's lots of different patterns on it. So it's ideal as a gift for children. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. As always, have fun and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.